Today we are going to talk about Venn diagrams and problem solving. So we're going to learn what a Venn diagram is. You've been using them in language arts, social studies to compare and contrast, and now we're going to use it in math to do the same. So here is a Venn diagram. We say that this E is what we call, or out here, the universal set. Okay. This circle right here are things that are just in A. And these are things here that are just in B. Okay. Everything in between we use here means they're in both sets. Okay. Things that are in A are going to be in this circle here. Notice that some of them are also in B. If it was going to be just A, it would only be this part right here. B would be this circle here. Okay. Just B would be, well, let's get rid of this. So just B would be just this part here. Okay. If something is in both A and B, meaning they have to be in one set, it would be that section there. If items were in A or B, it would be everything that's in A united with everything that's in B, so this set here. So those are just some basics with Venn diagrams. We're going to use these basics to solve some problems. So for example, our universal set is people in fifth period. B is a set of people who plays basketball and S is a set of people who play softball. So what we want to know is these little X's represent people. How many of them play basketball? So basketball is just this B set right here. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people that play basketball. How many play both sports would be just this section here. So there would be four. How many play basketball but not softball? We wouldn't want anybody in this softball set here. All we want is right here. So there would be five people that play basketball but not softball. Neither would be everybody that's on the outside of the circles. So these X's that are in the rectangle but not in the circle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people play neither sport. And then if we want to know how many people are in fifth period, we just count up all the X's. So we had eight that play neither. So then nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 people are in fifth period. Okay. So in a class of 50 students, 18 take chorus, 26 take band, to take both of those, and how many students in the class are not enrolled in either course or band? So I can use a Venn diagram to solve that. So if this is my chorus and this is my band, I'm going to start with whoever takes both. So if two people take both band and chorus, I'm going to put them in here. Now in this section here, is people that only take chorus. Well, we know that 18 total take chorus. So 18 minus two are gonna take chorus only. And that goes in here, and 16 students take chorus only. In this section here, okay, with just band, 
that's just banned. I've got 26 people that take just banned, but two are already taking it because they take both. So in here is going to be 26 minus 2 or 24 people. So now how many take neither? So everything combined, we've got 16, 2, and 24. If I add that up, I've got 42 students that take either chorus or band, okay, or both. And I've got a total class of 50 people, so 50 minus 42 take neither, or 8 take neither band nor chorus. Okay. Now sometimes we can have three, and there's even some crazy people who even do more than three Venn diagrams. Three is all the further we're going to go. All right, but... So we have Tom, and he asked 100 adults whether they had ever collected stamps, coins, or baseball cards. And this is according to the Venn diagram, what we do. So we want to know how many collected coins. When we're asking that, we mean how many total people collected coins. So in this case, I've, that would include here, 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 and here. So that would be 18 people that collect coins. Okay, coins but not baseball cards now would be everything that's not a baseball card. So that would be this part right here because that five and one also collect baseball cards. But here we just want coins but not baseball cards, so it's 12. Now, you might want to stop and pause and try to do some of these on your own and then check back with the answers. But baseball cards, but not stamps, would not include this, okay? So it would be this section right here, which would be 23. Stamps and coins would be where they overlap, so they overlap right here. So and means that they have to do both, okay? And means both. So there is 10 people that do both. Now both stamps and coins but not baseball cards would take out that five right there and leave us with only five. And then none of those. So again, we're gonna add this up, okay? So we've got 16, five, five and four in this circle right here. So 10 and 20 is 30. That leaves me with seven, one and 22 or 30 again. So that's 60 total people. So that leaves 40 that have none of those. Okay. Again, we can solve a problem using a Venn diagram. So I have a veterinarian that surveys 26 of his patrons. He discovers that 14 have dogs, 10 cats, and 5 have fish. 4 have dogs and cats, 3 have dogs and fish, and 1 has a cat and a fish. If no one has all three kinds of pets, how many patrons have none? So we're going to need three circles in our Venn diagram. So we've got dogs cats, yuck, cats, and fish. Fish are my kind of animal. They don't take any care whatsoever. Very little care. You just got to feed them and clean the tank. All right. Although I do love dogs, but they're too much responsibility. So if I've got nobody with all three kinds of pets, nothing's going to go in here. And then I'm going, because I always want to start with all three, and I'm just going to work myself backward. One person has a cat and a fish. So cat and fish is one person, okay? Goes right where they overlap, but not in here because that would be a cat, a dog, and a fish. Three have dogs and fish. So we're gonna put three in here. And four have a dogs and cats. So that went with the in two things. Now I have a total of five for fish, and I've already got three and one, so that leaves me with one. Person has a fish only. 
10 cats. So in the cat category, I've already circled, I've got a four and one or five, so that leaves me five for the cats. And then 14 have dogs, so I've already taken up three and four because they have other animals. So that means that there are seven left that have dogs only. So now how many patrons have all three kinds of pets? So if I add all of this up again, the five, one, and one is seven, seven and three is 10, and four is 14. So 21 people have those, and cats, dogs, or fish, and that leaves us with 21, so 26 minus 21, or five people have none of those. Guess they've got some exotic pets, reptiles, or whatever. All right, so today hopefully you learned a little bit about Venn diagrams and how to use them in math in problem solving. Have a math-tastic day.